It's time for another Hidden Features video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you five key hidden features in DaVinci Resolve that you wish you knew sooner. Yeah, boy. This one's going to be a fun one. It's short and snappy, so let's jump into it. All right then, so hidden feature number one. As you can see, I've got a fairly complex timeline with some clips that are either blue or orange, and you can change the clip color, obviously, just simply right-clicking on the clip and clicking click clack. Blah. Simply right-clicking on the clip and clicking clip color, and you can change the color of it. Now, we all know this. Something that I didn't realize, and I think is actually quite hidden, is that you can actually change the timeline color, or more specifically, the video clip timeline cover. Uh, I'll explain. You are really dumb. As you can see here, there are actually colors associated with each video clip. So obviously you can right click on this, change track color. That's the word I was looking for earlier. And then you can change this to, so let's say we want video track two to be, I don't know, green. Any track that you drag down will turn that specific color. I didn't know this existed until my colleague Steve at work, editor Steve right here, there you are, showed me. He knew this information for years and didn't tell me. I'm very angry. On to hidden feature number two. Another one, another one. What the hell? I'm sorry, but what is this? Everything's going wrong in this video. I'm so sorry. A few moments later. All right then, so we are in Fusion. Now, let's say I'm working on a project and I want to make sure something is centralized. Well, then literally click Control G and a lovely grid shows up. Now, this is very hidden and I wish I knew it earlier. Let's move on to number three. Oh my God! Wow! Now, for all of you experienced editors out there, this might be a very obvious thing. And to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if some of you scurry over to the comments and are like, Dan, I knew this. This isn't hidden. Well, I'm going to say it anyway, because it is hidden and it is helpful for other people. By default, the playback speed is L on the keyboard in the edit page. Clicking L on your timeline will click play, but clicking L again will skip it two times. Clicking L again will click it four times. Clicking L again will click it eight times. And clicking L again will play 16 times and clicking L again it'll skip the whole of humanity and you'll all die. Now if you don't like it being L that's fine you can simply change this in the keyboard shortcuts in the top left corner by clicking DaVinci Resolve keyboard customization and searching play forward. As you can see I've got play forward and it is L currently and escape. You can just click add and then add any key that you want. All right then, on to number four. Possibly, in my opinion, the most hidden feature of all time. It is so hidden, there isn't even a button for it. Why? 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 Okay then, so let's say you're speed ramping, as you can see right here. And so you drag this keyframe over and you want to speed it up really fast like so, right? And you zoom in here. My keyframes are now out of view, right? They're out of view completely. Now I thought there was absolutely no way that you could like zoom in because when you zoom in, nothing happens. You zoom in on the timeline and you can't move around in that space, right? So I thought that you had to zoom out like this, bring the keyframe out, add your ease in and ease out and make some adjustments and do the same here and then drag it back in again. Again. And I thought that that was genuinely the only way that you could do it because there's no obvious way that you can adjust this little black space. But actually, there is. It's just completely hidden. Hello there. If you go over here and you see this little 300 percentage here and just drag, click that and drag it, then you can bring it down. It's just not obvious at all. Like just a random 300%. I just didn't think that that would adjust it. If it was a little box, it might be a little bit more user friendly, but it isn't. And the same applies here as well. Why? <laughs> I've wasted so much of my life. Okay, so on to the fifth and final hidden feature. Now, I can't remember whether by default this is on or off, but this might be useful for you. Now, that is markers and ripple deleting in the timeline. Now, I don't know about you, but when I'm making an edit, I make lots of markers. I love you. It's great to, well, organize your timeline and know exactly what's happening in A, B, and C. But when I ripple delete something like this, my timeline markers seem to stay where they are. Now, this is useful in certain situations, but in this situation, I want them to move with the timeline so that they stay relevant with the, well, the clips below it. If you go up to the top left corner and click timeline, scroll down and you will see ripple delete timeline markers. Now, this is a really useful feature that for the longest time I didn't know existed. I thought that markers just stayed where they were 
and they weren't attached to the clips below. I thoroughly recommend this. Don't underestimate this one. All right then, that's been a short and snappy video for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Bit of a silly one and I hope you guys have learned something from it too. Feel free to go and subscribe. It's been amazing to see how quickly this channel has grown. I also want to give a huge shout out to Patrick Sterling. Now he actually gave me a huge shout out. This is me reacting to the shout out that I got. I gained so many subscribers that day. Next up, Dan Vinci. Dan has really just got started pretty recently and he's he's off to a crazy good start. He's already covering a pretty wide range of stuff in Resolve. Keeps it uh, entertaining, really easy to watch, really fun. Dan Vinci. What a lad. That is amazing. Goodbye. But yeah, that's the video. My name's Dan. You've watched Dan Vinci and I'll see you in the next one. See you in a bit.